understanding, beat back, a deep dive into English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's English language learning video. Today, we are going to explore the phrase, beat back. This expression is quite interesting because it has more than one meaning, depending on the context. So, let's unravel the mystery behind, beat back, and see how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, beat back, in its most literal sense means to force something to move back or away by hitting or attacking it. This is often used in a physical context, such as in a battle or a confrontation. Example, the soldiers managed to beat back the enemy forces. He used a stick to beat back the aggressive dogs. In these sentences, beat back involves a physical action to push or force something away. Moving on to a more figurative use, beat back can mean to overcome or resist something successfully. This is a non-physical interpretation and is often used in the context of challenges, difficulties, or even emotions. Example, she beat back her fears and gave an excellent presentation. The community worked together to beat back the spread of the disease. In these examples, beat back is about overcoming or pushing back non-physical challenges. It's important to note that beat back should not be confused with simply beat. Beat on its own has several meanings, including to defeat someone, to strike repeatedly, or even a rhythmic pattern in music. The addition of back changes its meaning significantly. Common mistake. Incorrect. He managed to beat the illness. Correct. He managed to beat back the illness. The first sentence implies winning or overcoming, whereas the second specifically implies pushing it away or overcoming it. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, beat back, and how to use it correctly in different contexts. Remember, the beauty of the English language lies in its vast array of expressions and their nuances. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to beat back the challenges you face in learning this fascinating language. Until next time, happy learning!